As the search and investigation on the cause of Tuesday's blast in Bodija continues, with the announcement of relief items for victims by both the state governor, Shei Makide, and President Bola Chirubu, residents have continued to share their experiences in the blast with Trust TV. While many have called for severe sanctions for those found culpable, others are yet to recover from the aftermath of the blast. As residents of Ibadan still grapple with the unexpected explosion, some of them have called on the state government to provide adequate support in the areas of feeding, accommodation, psychological support and rehabilitation to assist victims of the unfortunate incident. The one woman that is inside that day just went out. Before she come back, everything happened. Who is the woman? Uh, she's my brother's wife. Doesn't see anybody. Just yes. Don't see anybody. To ask us say we are we are going to leave. We don't see anybody. So when we reach our house, my madam wife, he caught my leg, the house help. Maybe we just saw him yesterday saw her yesterday, already died. So it's for our forerunner, Rav4 and my own Jeep. Fort uh, Fort Edged. That's how this happened. The Commissioner for Health in Oyo State, Uluwa Sherimi Ajitumobi, said 77 people were injured with five deaths recorded, while some dismembered bodies were also found. Some have had surgery. A woman that had fractured had had surgery and she's stable. In University College Hospital now, we have about five still on admission. Then at Redeemers, we have six on admission. And the director, I just left Redeemers to check on our patients. And the director said later today, four will we, be discharged. Similarly, the state emergency response heard Demitokwe Alonge noted that recovery efforts on the fourth day saw the team picking up missing body parts and assured of safety in the affected area. Working very hard to get to Grand Zero by Monday. Grand Zero meaning... We will have cleared off all the rubbles and taken away any hazardous, hazardous waste uh, that is um, at the site of um, the incident. Meanwhile, Governor Shei Makinde, while calling for calm and cooperation among the citizens, pledged to provide adequate shelter and sort the medical bills of the victims of the blast. Also, let me use this opportunity to appeal to anyone still staying in any of the houses within 250 meters of uh, Grand Zero to move out to government uh, provided the accommodation until we check the structural integrity of the buildings in this area. But at the same time, unscrupulous uh, elements who may want to take advantage of this disaster to carry out any form of looting uh, should be won. As many residents continue to ponder on the aftermath of the incident, some have said sanctions for airing minors and early detection will prevent such incidents in the future.